When I grow up, I've decided I want to be a very famous cook and prepare the best dishes in the world. But Rita, the last time you cooked a simple fried egg, you almost burned the whole kitchen. Ah! Oh. Ha-ha! <laughs> what does that have to do with knowing how to cook? The thing with the fried egg was an accident, nothing more. Anyway, I've also decided that to be the best cook in the world, I'll go to the best culinary school in the country. Whatever you say, Rita. While you become the best chef in the world, I'm going to become a soprano. A what? A soprano is a person who sings opera. But, Momo, you don't even know what opera is. Who says I don't? Now I'll show you how well I can sing. <clears throat> oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. <laughs> what was that horrendous noise? It sounded like a cry for help. Moo Moo, I must confess something to you. At first I thought you were awful, but after a while when I could no longer hear anything, it sounded really nice. You have a bright future in singing. Thank you, Rita. I know as a singer I'll become a superstar. Moo Moo. <laughs> Rita, did you hear that dreadful noise? I didn't hear anything. And you, Rita, did you hear something? Rita? Can't you hear me? Did you hear that noise? Moo Moo, what's wrong with Rita? I don't know. Rita, can you hear me? Hey there, Olga, how's it going? Why are you talking so low? I can't hear you, you'll have to speak a little louder. It looks like Rita has gone a little deaf. Could it be from that noise we heard? Well, I didn't hear a thing. I was singing opera with Rita, and I didn't hear a sound. What's that? Opera? Were you the one who was making that noise? What do you mean a noise? I was singing a song in E minor, very sharp. Mumu, please don't sing again in front of me. I'm begging you. I see you don't appreciate my talent. I'm going to rehearse far away from here. Olga, when I grow up, I'm going to be a fantastic cook. Very good, Rita. But you don't have to shout, I'm not deaf. Hi, friends. What you doing? Well, Moo Moo and I were deciding on our future careers. I'm going to be a chef, and Moo Moo's going to be an opera singer. And you, Milo? What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I've always wanted to be a doctor. I'll travel the world taking care of people who are sick. Well, you can start with Rita, oh? who has gone deaf thanks to Moo Moo's <laughs> vocal cords. <laughs> now I hear just fine, now that Moo Moo is singing somewhere else. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be a detective. I like to investigate everything that goes on in the valley. Detective? Hmm, what a great idea. You can investigate why Moo Moo sings so badly, right? <laughs> I don't think there's any solving that crime. <laughs> I don't understand why they don't like my sweet voice. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti. I'm going to rehearse a lot, and this afternoon I'm going to give them a concert that they'll never forget. Pew, 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 pew. Talala, you got to slow down. I can't understand you. A concert? Moo Moo? Tonight? Oh, that tonight Moo Moo wants to sing a concert of opera. But that's awful. I couldn't take it, not even for a minute. It's no big deal. She's not that bad. And after a few seconds, we'll become deaf anyway. There's got to be a way for us to get out of this concert. Hi, friends. What are you all doing? Alfred, you've got to help us. Moo Moo has decided that she wants to become an opera singer. And tonight she wants to give a concert for all of us. But the poor thing does it so badly that we won't be able to take it. Well, this dilemma appears to have a simple solution. We'll cover Boo Boo's mouth so she can't sing. Alfred, how are we going to cover her mouth? Moo Moo's our friend, and if she wants to sing, we have to let her do it. What a great idea, Talalo! That 
that's what we'll do. Hi, Moo Moo. What's up? I've got a surprise that I've prepared for all of you. Ooh. I'm going to perform a concert of opera right now. Oh, how nice. A concert. All right, Moo Moo. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Yeah, a great job. But you'd better not run away or anything. Of course not, Moo Moo. We're your friends, and we'll stay until the end. Are you ready? Oh, sole mio. Oh, sole mio. You know what, Rita? When I'm older, I want to have at least two children. A little cow like me and a bull like my daddy. Wait, wait. I think I'm going to have two little cows and one bull. I like girls better. But I'm sure it's better if two girls play with two boys. That's if I have two cows and two bulls. Well, I don't want to have any kids. I can't stand them. They spend all day crying and eating. And then, after eating so much, they don't stop. Oh, uh, well, you know. Huh? Now what? You know, Moo Moo, what babies do all day is sleep, eat, and... <clears throat> I don't understand you, Rita. What's the matter? Do you have a sore throat or something? Let's see, Moo Moo, what do you do every day? Well, every day I wake up and I brush my teeth. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat a good breakfast. And then you? Well, and then I go play with you. Yeah, and then you? Well, then I eat again. But Moo Moo, don't you go to the bathroom? Yes, of course, every day. Well, that's what I'm trying to tell you, that all day long children are oh? <clears throat> doing that. Doing what? Oh, never mind, Moo Moo. I'm going for a walk. Yeah, Rita. I'm sure you're going to <clears throat> do that, right? Moo Moo! I was just joking. Wait up. I'll go with you. What are you looking at, Rita? Look at that strange looking thing. What's so strange about it? It's just a rock. That's not a rock, Moo Moo. It's an egg. An egg from what? Well, it could be an egg from a snake or an egg from a dinosaur. Or from a giraffe. Giraffes don't come from eggs, Moo Moo. We're mammals just like cows are. Oh. So what do we do with this egg? It's been abandoned, right? If you find an egg in some place, you have to leave it alone without touching it and wait for its mother to come and get it. But this one looks like it's been abandoned. That's a good point, Moo Moo. It would be better if we told everyone so we can decide what to do with this egg. Milo! Olga! Talalo! Alfred! Come over here quick! I've got something incredible to tell you! Moo Moo and I have found an abandoned egg along the stone path. And do you know what animal it comes from? We don't know, but it's a really big egg. I think I know what animal it comes from. From what, Moo Moo? I'm convinced it's an egg that came from a cow. But cows don't lay eggs. You're mammals, Moo Moo. Yes, that's what everyone in the world believes. But I think I know the magic secret. Mm. The secret of what? It's the big secret of cows like me. But I'll tell you more about it another time. Moo Moo, every day we understand you less. We'd better go and check on that abandoned egg. The egg is right over here. It looks like an egg from a small animal. It looks like a dinosaur egg to me. No way. It came from a cow. It looks like an ostrich egg to me, but I'm not sure. Given my vast experience in the field of animal science, 
I can deduce that this egg is from... It's moving! Now you'll see there's a cow Look, inside! A leg. And another leg! They're so pretty! How adorable! Oh, I love this! Careful! Oh, how fast it Don't step on it! Oh. Oh. job? Don't look at me like that. I said don't look at me like that. Adorable! <laughs> you are so cute! Oh, what's the matter? You want a kiss? Come with mommy, come with mommy. I'm going to call you Turda. I like turtles. Give me a kiss. We have a new member of the family. Yay! Yay! Rita. What an ugly looking cow, right? When I was little, was I that ugly? Moo Moo, it's not a cow, it's a turtle. I thought there was something strange. Although if you look closely, it does look like a cow. <sighs> Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. <laughs> Little bee, how are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Moo Moo. I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred. Yeah, yeah. We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Moo Moo's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little B, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little B, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Moo Moo, you stand four steps to your right. 
One, two, three, four. Perfect. You and Alfred. Um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's going to do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one. Then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, Olga has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Fly towards Moo Moo. Oh, great. The bee's coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. So